Today was a very exciting day for Raptors fans as it was media day where the players and coaches gave us an inside look as to what goes on behind the scenes and one point in particular was of interest to me concerning Nick Nurse talking about Scotty Barnes where he revealed what role the rookie will have in his first NBA season. Let's get into it. Welcome NBA and Raptors fans to Amateur Sports. This is the channel where you get Raptors news, mock trades, breakdowns, and so much more four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you like what you see from today's video and you want more of myself talking about the Raptors and videos and content just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Join the Amateur Hour Army on a road to 7,000 subscribers. Let's get to that checkpoint. Let's get to 10,000 subs by the end of 2021. Also, if you've noticed, new camera, and uh, let's see how it looks for the video. But let's get down to business for today's video because we're talking about what was going on in Raptors media day. So there were a lot of players, a lot of personnel were out there talking about what's going on with the season. I watched quite a bit of it. I had some interesting takes, you know, the way the players kind of perceive the system that the Raptors are trying to construct here with all of the guys who are, you know, six foot nine with two way with great wingspan, seven foot one wingspan, seven foot two wingspans. And it's just kind of seeing the perspective they have and maybe the perspective of Bobby Webster and of course the coach, Nick Nurse who's got to utilize these players to the best of his ability. And one of those six foot nine guys with a 7'3 wingspan, in fact, is Scotty Barnes, of course, the player that we drafted fourth overall in this year's NBA entry draft, which was met with, I'd say, some immediate criticism. But now all Raptors fans, I would say most, if not all Raptors fans, have really come around to this pick. And we love having Scotty Barnes on our team. But we love him with all this stuff going on. We haven't even seen him play an actual NBA game yet. And we need to harness the potential that clearly he possesses and clearly that the Raptors development team have identified that he possesses to make this pick very worthwhile. Picking him ahead of a much more, I'd say, NBA ready player in Jalen Suggs was a little bit of a risk, but the Raptors front office has the foresight to believe that Scotty Barnes has the greater potential for the future. And they think that maybe he's not the best player right now, but unless like two, three, four years, this is going to be the best player out of him and anybody else that was on the board at that time. So the Raptors have a big task on their hand. It was maybe a risk according to media, but I'm sure according to themselves, it was not really a risk at all. This is the guy that they wanted to pick, but still we need to harness the potential that he has because there are still parts of his game that he does need to work on. Other parts of his game, like his defense and his playmaking, don't really need a lot of work, but we still need to get the most out of this player. And that is going to be on a lot heavily relied upon Nick Nurse because Nick Nurse is the coach. He puts the players on the floor. He puts the schematics in place. He runs the plays. It is up to him to really get the best out of Scotty Barnes in those in-game situations. You know, in training and practices and all of that, you know, there's development teams working with him, especially to work on, you know, the shot, which I'm growing in confidence that he's going to get that three-point shot down. But as far as the game goes... It's going to be Nick Nurse taking a lot of the heavy load in getting him to the next level. So in media day, Nick Nurse was fielding lots of questions about Scotty Barnes, where he was asked what kind of role he is going to have during the season. This has been a particularly interesting thing to me. I want to know, first of all, what sort of role he's going to have and also what position he's going to play, what kind of workload he's going to take on on the court, because in his season of college was Florida State. He was playing as a six man and he was actually playing as the primary point guard for this Florida State team. He was the main ball carrier playing in the point guard position. We've seen other players play as the point guard to kind of harness their skills in college. Also, because maybe there's one of the most talented players, it's worthwhile for them to have the most touches. Like a good example is RJ Barrett playing as a small forward for the New York Knicks now, but playing for Duke in college. He was running the show at point guard. He was the ball handler, playing with Zion Williamson, playing with Cam Reddish. So that kind of player who has the skills to play as a point guard but can also play as a forward might be worthwhile to a team to have an extra ball carrier on the side. But you could also decide you actually legitimately want to play this guy in the point guard position. So Nick Nurse was fielding questions, first of all, about his workload. And, I mean, it's identified very quickly that Nick Nurse is going to provide Scotty Barnes with a huge role on the team. And that is music to my ears. As somebody who's looking at this season like a season where we're just trying to improve the players and we don't really need to go out and and win every single game you know winning is awesome winning is fun but as far as the record go I'm more concerned about individual player growth I think that lays heavily upon the mostly upon Scotty Barnes also a little bit on OG and Anobi amongst other players but like the biggest load for 
getting better for player development, I want to see Scotty Barnes develop the most. If I see Scotty Barnes continuing to develop, I'm going to be pretty happy with the way the season's going, as long as other people, obviously, uh, getting their due diligence and development as well. He was also asked more about the role where he said, we are going to give him the biggest role possible. We're going to work in the hardest that we can. And this is great. This is great because young players, the last thing young players need is not getting touches with their team. They want to be able to get the most amount of touches possible to truly harness their actual talent that they can possess and that they can showcase throughout the future. Scotty Barnes, he looked great in summer league, but the NBA is a different level. And after coming out of college where he put up 10, 4, and 4 on, you know, the, the efficiencies, field goal percentage is great. The three-point percentage could be better. Free throw percentage also could be better. These things are something that we need to look at and understand if it's going to be better right now. It's been a while since he finished his college season so he's definitely been in the lab getting his three-pointer down and I'm sure in the Raptors workout the pre-draft workout he established that yeah he can shoot and the Raptors lost a lot of their concerns over him being able to shoot or not so any notion the Raptors may have had or any nerves they may have had that this guy can't shoot were probably settled in that pre-draft workout though understandably there still is going to be work to do so to get him on the court for the longest amount of time possible to work him the hardest possible so he gets lots of reps on defense he gets lots of reps on offense is just going to do wonders for his game especially if he starts to play well the confidence I mean you can just feel this guy who's he's just going to build off of his confidence he feels off of that good energy the good vibes you know the vibes he's going to feel off of that stuff so if he's getting more time on the court that is going to be great there weren't really any questions regarding position and like specific role because with Florida State Scotty Barnes was the sixth man he won sixth man of the year in his conference and I don't really think he's suitable to start with the Raptors right away because I think we have a good starting lineup already. Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Anobi, Pascal Siakam, and Ken Birch are starting five. Scotty Barr doesn't really pencil into that starting five immediately. Also, as a rookie, I wouldn't really mind him coming off the bench. And he's familiar with that six-man role. It would be good to have him off the bench. But if he were to start, or even when he's coming off the bench... Who comes off for him? Where does Scotty Barnes play? Does he play in the power forward position, the small forward position? Does he play as a guard to get more of the ball? Because, I mean, lots of you guys in the community think that playing as a forward is going to be best for Scotty Barnes' development. But I personally believe that playing Scotty Barnes in a guard role is going to be best for his development. You want him to get the most amount of touches possible. Give him the Giannis treatment. Unbelievably, when Giannis Antetokounmpo came into the league, obviously a very raw player, much more skinny than he is now, he was playing as a point guard for the Milwaukee Bucks because the Bucks wanted to give him the touches. They wanted to give him the ball handling to develop all of those ball skills to get him to the next level. And well, now look where Giannis is. So at the time, playing him like that has allowed him to become the player he is now because he's much more comfortable on the ball. I think this would do wonders for Scotty Barnes as well. I mean, I understand playing him. I mean, wherever you play him on offense, I think it makes sense unless it's playing as a center. But I understand why you guys want to play him at forward, but I think giving him the most amount of touches is going to be the best thing for his game. We'll see what Nick Nurse wants to do with this player. Even if he is playing as a forward, he can still get a lot of that ball handling. But you know, with, with Goran Dragic and Malachi Flynn coming off the bench, maybe he won't get as many of those ball handling touches. And that's something I would be a little bit concerned about because I want him to get the most amount of touches possible. And this isn't just a case of, you know, let's just throw the season because we want to have Scotty Barnes playing the most amount of minutes, getting the most amount of the ball to develop. That isn't what is going on here. Nick Nurse has established that he wants Scotty Barnes to have this huge role with the team, but he's also established that he wants to win. The Raptors, Nick Nurse, they're done losing. Everywhere Nick Nurse has gone, winning has followed him. He just is a serial winner wherever he has coached. This is his first shot in the NBA, but look at his track record everywhere he's been, whether he's been in Europe, whether he's been anywhere else. He is a winner. And he wants to continue to win with the Raptors. Last season, that was weird for Nick Nurse. He's not used to not winning. So he wants to get right back in that win column, as do the rest of the Toronto Raptors players. There's no discussions about potentially tanking. Nothing like that. Bobby Webster is committed to winning. Bobby Webster has even said that he thinks this Raptors team is going to surprise some people. Nick Nurse said something similar. So they want to go out and win those games. But they want to go out and win those games with the belief that Scotty Barnes can significantly help them win games. Amongst other players in the team, like Pascal OG, Fred Van Vliet, the main trio of this team. But giving Scotty Barnes that role in a winning environment with a good culture in place with not a lot of expectations on this team after finishing seventh worst record in the NBA, 
I think all of that together is going to do wonders for this team, specifically Scotty Barnes on his course to development. Overall, I'd say everything looks great for Scotty Barnes. Raptors fans are starting to fall in love with this guy. We are claiming so many things about him despite him having not played a single NBA game yet for the Raptors. We really liked what we saw in Summer League, but... There is going to be a learning curve adjusting to the NBA. We're going to have to be a little bit patient as fans. We're going to have to keep our emotions really in check about how this Raptors team is going to do. Obviously, management, coaches, players are confident, but the East just got a lot better. So let's manage our expectations, but also keep that hopefulness. Keep that ability to hope for the Raptors to, to succeed. And let's go out cheering for the Raptors this season. I don't want another season where half the fan base is wanting the Raptors to lose games. I want to go out and fight for wins every single night. If we don't get them, I want to see good performances because the bottom line is regardless of our record, we need to use this year as a transition year to lay the foundation for the future with guys like Scotty Barnes at the helm of the team. Let's see the personal development. Let's see this young group of players, this young core grow together and see if they can become something bigger. Back in Toronto, the vibes are going to be great. The crowd is going to be electric. I cannot wait to get this season started. So how do you guys feel about Nick Nurse giving Scotty Barnes that huge role with the team? Do you think it's smart? Do you think it's not? I want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments down below because that is it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still here, make sure to give the video a like. It really goes a long way to help us reach new viewers to the channel, which brings in more subscribers. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are on a road to 7,000 subscribers. We do Raptors news coverage, breakdowns, mock trades, and so much more on this channel. If you love the Raptors, you're going to love Amateur Sports. Hit that sub button down below. The links around me right now are our other channels, Amateur Clips, the best highlights from our Twitch streams. We're going to be starting our watch longs very, very soon when the Raptors start the preseason. Keep it locked with the Twitch in the link in the description. Amateur TV is our vlog and personal channel. We do Raptors fan interviews, vlogs, and a whole lot more there. Make sure to keep it locked with Amateur Studios. I will see you again next time.